he's yelly, and that's belly. It can get confusing, but one thing's for sure, he's chasing the triple crown. So is he. It's a feat that hasn't been accomplished in the NL since 1937. So watch out, if anyone can do it, it's Yelly. Or will it be Belly? Two great guys, two great talents, and they're in the outfield right now. They're wearing earpieces and microphones. That's Christian Yelich on your left in left. That's Cody Bellinger on your right in right. Hello, guys. What's up, guys? How we doing? We're, We're doing, doing good. I don't even know who's talking. That's that was Christian. <laughs> that wasn't even us in the booth. As Kershaw oh. takes over and deals high to J.D. Martinez with ball one. Let me give some specifics on Kershaw. Since 1920, the live ball era, Clayton has the highest win percentage and the lowest ERA. Minimum 1,500 innings pitched. That's saying something. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah, I'd say that's good. Here's one foul outside third. Cody, you play behind Clayton Kershaw whenever he takes a ball for the Dodgers. Uh, this guy's the consummate professional. What's it like playing behind him? Absolutely incredible. Uh, it epitomizes, epitomizes an ace on the staff. Uh, I think the most impressive thing what he does. Oh, Here we go. here's one blasted into no, left. Go. Oh, Yelich, yeah. microphone, yeah. earpiece, glove and all makes the catch. Look at up that. against the wall. We didn't do it this time either. That, uh, That's one. Did you think that was gone when he hit it? I did. No, come on now. No, I, I'm joking. No, I uh, what's it like, Christian, facing Kershaw? You got plenty of him last year yeah. during the uh, NLCS. I'll tell you what, it's a lot better being on uh, this side of the ball and uh, not having to worry about hitting that slider, curveball. Uh, he does a lot of things up there that Oh, here we go, another That's one. That's foul. It's, it's out of play. <laughs> We're just going to try and make, make all the plays while uh, I'm on here with you guys, huh? I can tell you if the ball's going to be foul or not. I can help you with that. You can save your energy. I'm right down the line. Pretty much appreciate it. Okay. Nothing and one to count on Alex Bregman, who is just bursting with confidence. Last year hit a 10th inning home run and was the All-Star Game MVP. Astros locked him up to a five year one hundred million dollar contract or as he told me five year hunge. <laughs> Sounds and, about right. Yeah. He's a beauty man. He is fun to watch and a good young face for the game. That's ball two two and one. I, I love what you two guys are doing Cody and Christian. It seems like you've embraced this whole chase for the MVP and have a lot of mutual respect for one another. Christian you want to hold on play baseball right now 2 1 pitch. Oh, no we're good. Um, yeah he's had an unbelievable year. Um, you know we've become buddies over the years so it's fun. You always want to root for your friends and uh, it's a good competitive nature where you know, you're both pulling for each other and um, you know we had that series in early April where it seemed like everybody was going back and forth. We played each other in the playoffs uh, back and forth series unfortunately. Uh, Cody had to hit that homer in the second inning there in game seven. My bad. But uh, My bad. you know what are you going to do it's fun to watch. 2 2 pitch now to Brinkman is hit like a rocket. Arenado stopped it but could not complete the play. He is a vacuum over at third base. Well, we're showing your stats, guys, Christian and Cody. You're 1 and 2 in home runs. You're 1 and 2 in on base percentage. And you're 1 and 2 in slugging percentage. As Michael Brantley gets a warm ovation here, the former Cleveland Indian digging in representing the Astros. Yeah, this is a guy that's tough if you're outfielders to defend because he can spray the ball all over the place. He can go line to line and he's got such a smooth swing. Nothing seems to bother him. He doesn't overswing. Pure hitter. And just dead still at the plate. Oh. That's a ball. I, I know from talking to you Christian you were quoted last year saying you don't worry about launch angle. Uh, Cody do you worry about or think about launch angle. No I don't. Uh, I think that just happens over time. Uh, I, I mean I try to hit the ball up in the air in the cage. Somebody go get that. That's in the gap. Die. Acuna going to get it. He'll get it back in. Here comes Bregman. Throw home by Almago is too late. And the AL jumps on top. One to nothing. And their old friend Michael Brantley delivers the two out RBI double. Is it as loud out there as it sounds during, through my headset? Yeah, it's really loud. Yeah. Whenever the music comes on. 
blaring in my ear. It's all one, right though. One Good. ball one strike runner at second two out. And that is strike two. We heard uh, Justin Verlander's opinion on the baseball. Do you guys uh, think the baseball is tighter has less drag is jumping more in 2019. I think they're perfectly fine the way they are. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I'm not a scientist, so I'm just trying to hit the thing, and whatever it does, it does. Uh, I'm with Cody on that one. I think all of us hitters are uh, stronger. Right, you guys where are they're at, right where they're at. You're stronger. Just say it. You're stronger. No, we know what we're doing with our swings more now. Don't change a thing. A strikeout. Boys, thank you very much. You guys are you. nice to do it. Thank you. Yeah. AL jumps on top on a two-out RBI double by Brantley. Fun night in Cleveland continues. Back after this from your local Fox station.